Good afternoon, um, YouTube. This is Jay, this is Jay Rodriguez with Sports Report. I wanted to do this show after um, the, the the games last weekend, but my throat was killing me, my tongue was killing me, so I couldn't do it. But I'll do it right now. April 13th, 2016 is going to go down as one of the greatest days in the history of the NBA. Stephon Curry and the Golden State Warriors defeat the Memphis Grizzlies by a score of 125 104 to improve their record to 73 and 9 and share the Chicago Bulls all time NBA attendance record. Well, so is this Golden State Warriors the best team, the best team in the NBA history? Well, we'll see, but, um,. Stephon Curry um, broke the NBA record for um, three-pointers. He has over 400 three-pointers. No other NBA player has um, 300. So is he the greatest player in NBA history? Mm, maybe. But you got to consider that there was a lot more defense played in the 90s than there were today. The game will often change. So that's definitely... So that so I mean I'm not taking away from what Curry did, what he did was tremendous, but you gotta consider how much the game has changed over the years before you think about considering the great, the greatest NBA player of all time. Like if you put Wayne Gretzky in today's NHL with all the defense, there is no way he would shatter all those goaltending records. Was would be higher than it was. But not only did the Warriors break the NBA record for wins, but but Kobe Bryant, in his fi in the in the final game of his NBA career, scores sixty points, six time in NBA history in, 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 in Kobe Bryant's career, as he and the Ute and the LA Lakers defeat the Utah Jazz one hundred one to ninety six. What a storybook ending! I mean that the stats just speak for themselves. What a night to be a what a month to be a basketball fan. We had those two games. We had the the unbelievable NCAA championship game between Villanova and UNC. And now we have the NBA playoffs. Stephon Curry is injured right now, but Golden State's not worried, nor should they. I think they should still easily beat Houston. But he better get back for the semifinals and finals if they're gonna beat San Antonio win the NBA title. Um, right now, Toronto's beating Indiana 44-30, to and Dallas, in, Oklahoma City's beating Dallas, um, 58-48. Yeah, it should be, um, it should be Golden State versus San Antonio in the Western Conference Finals, unless it was a, unless it was a huge upset. In the East, the Cleveland Cavaliers should be the favorites to win the East. But they look kind of blev right now. Now on to hockey. Pittsburgh's crushing the Rangers 4-0 right now. They should win this series. I'm expecting a deep playoff from Ren. Then. Tampa Bay and Detroit's tied 0-0. Um, but Detroit's really an aging team. They have made the playoffs 25 years in a row. But they barely got in. So I really don't expect them to beat Detroit. So I, be, I bet you sometime in the next year or two, their run will end. The defending Stanley Cup champions, the Chicago Blackhawks, are down three games to one to St. Louis. But it wouldn't shock me to see them come back. Here's something I didn't expect. San Jose is leading L.A. 3-1. to one. I was expecting L.A. to run away with this series, but San Jose is up 3-1. to one. But we all remember two years ago, San Jose was up 3 nothing, and then L.A. won 3 Three straight games to come back to win, so this series ain't over. And we all know San Jose has a history of choking. So does Washington. They had a 2-0 series lead on Philadelphia, but now it's three games to one. So, like I said, so these are definitely possible. They could definitely choke it away because they have a history of choking. But we'll see how it pans out. Baseball season right now is underway right now, and the Yankees are struggling. That's right, they have a five and nine record. Oh, I think it's five and nine. I'll double check. Yeah, they're five and eight right now. Put up two one against Oakland. Alex Rodriguez scored a run, 
but it's good for him because he's he's been a huge reason why the Yankees are struggling. Rodriguez only has only has like um five hits. Yeah, yeah, five hits and seven. So Alex Rodriguez five sorry five runs and seven hits. So that's not a good start for Alex Rodriguez. I am hoping the Yankees will break out of the slump, but I think Rodriguez is a aging. I he's forty years old. He's off the juice. And I bet you people are gonna look at Rodriguez as a fraud because you look at Derek Jeter's last season. You look at Mariano Rivera's last season. They looked great in their last season, but A. Royd is just not having a good um, final. Not not having a good season right now. So it wouldn't surprise me to see him hang it up sometime in the near soon. The Bisons are struggling right now. They also have a, I believe, like a five and eight record. Yeah, they're not doing so hot right now. But the right as, um, yeah, they're six and eight. The one had the Yankees, but they're losing five to one to the Grant Wilkesbury Rail Riders. So looks like it's gonna be another lost season. The only thing good going good for me in sports right now is the Bandits. I went to the Bandits game last week. They crushed the Toronto Rock 14-8. Dane Smith is getting closer to the all-time NLL attendance record. Cause, so cause the Yankees are struggling. The Bison are struggling. Bill Sabres, Amherst missed the playoffs. Muck Dogs will start later, so hopefully they'll give us something good. But as of right now, at least I have the Bandits. They are on their way to um, the NLL's best record. I'm looking at it right now. As soon as this laptop stops acting slow. Yeah, so Dane Smith's only a few points away from the NL record. Bandits are 11 and 5. They have the second best record, the best in the East Division, the second best record in the NLL behind the Saskatch the defending champion Saskatchewan Rush, who used to be the Edmonton Rush. So I'm hoping they'll have home turf advantage for the playoffs. That's definitely what I could looking forward to. Dane Smith is um nearing the um Sean Evans NLL point record. Let's see how many Yes, he has a twenty. He is seven points away. Yes, could you imagine if he got it this Saturday in um, Rochester, where where Evans used to play? Seven points, all separate the Smith with the NLL record. Well, this is the J Red Show with your sports report. I'll be back. This is J Red signing off.